everybody! I'm Lynn, I hope you're keeping really, really well. Now the past few days we've had some little mice coming into our kitchen and Sean, <laughs> he's been great, he's been able to capture three of them with his hands and safely put them back into the garden again, no harm to the mice. Now obviously you always have this dilemma because me and Sean are both vegan and we hate the thought of having to harm any animals at all. And obviously most people just think, oh what the hell, they've put the bait down or them horrible traps that snap the neck, but we couldn't bear the thought of that. So we looked into alternative options of how we can get the mice out of the house, obviously without harming them. And we found out about these live capture traps and apparently what it does, I'll just show you here, this is a little nifty invention here. It, you, it opens up at the side like so, there's two little clips, pull apart like that and you stand that down on the surface, you put some food actually inside towards the end, now you can use peanut butter, they love peanut butter or some nuts. The mice, obviously he smells the food or she smells the food, goes into it like that and of course the weight of it topples over, snaps like that. And obviously it keeps the mouse safely in there, no harm at all to the mouse. And then when you get up and you see it, then you let it safety out, out obviously as far away from the house as possible. And we thought that's a really, really good invention. So we, we thought we'd go and get some. Now they're really, they're, they're easy to get hold of and they're cheap as anything. So it's only about five euros. So they're brilliant. And we want to give it a go. So obviously we tried it, we put one out. And the only problem we found is the mouse because obviously you put the food in there the mouse can smell the food and what's happened it's probably gone in that way smelling it and it's gone the top and the weight of it's pulled it down and that's automatically snapped it's a bit of a fault i find with this that that we found out now obviously what sean has come up with a great invention here he's got he's made a shelf so because obviously when it was like that the mouse comes in and snaps and the mouse doesn't go inside. Now by putting the shelf up like this, it means the mouse can only go in one way. And this should hopefully work this time. So we've got it all set up, got a bit of food in there, and hopefully if we catch a live mouse, we'll let you know how it goes. There you go guys, we've caught one, we've caught a mouse, see? And now I'm gonna go and pick it up, take it back into nature and let it out, so come along with me. Here we Obviously when you're picking it up be very gentle not to uh, not to scare it. Guess we forgot to take the washing out last night. Back in I should say. <laughs> it's a frosty morning alright. Minus two degrees I think. back into nature go it's always good to take them let them out obviously as far away from the house as possible here we are back in nature here and then I'm just going to carefully obviously try not to scare the wee mousey and let the clips here and let it gently come out yay there you go back to nature back to his little home There you go guys, let back out into nature, no kill, no harm, we might see back where he belongs and no harm at all done. So I'd really strongly recommend using one of these kill free mouse traps, no bait, no horrible nasty traps and they're back in nature and I can strongly recommend But how, how wonderful it feels not to have to harm any of them is just wonderful so guys definitely give it a try, definitely recommend it.